Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Sagittarius's broken heart reading for the month of September. In this message, we're going to jump right into the energies with the traditional deck. We're going to look into how to resolve a conflict between you and another person. Okay, so in, in this message, we look into your part of the challenge, your person's part of the challenge, what each of you can do to resolve the challenge. We'll look into are there other influences, can it be saved, and is it worth it? We'll clarify throughout the message as well as pull a few oracle cards at the end, as well as a few cards for advice guidance moving forward. If that's something you guys are interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. So let's see here, Sagittarius, what we can see for you guys for the month of September. Please and thank you. Most important message here for Sagittarius spirit. What does Sagittarius need to see? looks like your person here is feeling drained. I feel like they have options they have to choose from. I also feel here, Sagittarius, this person is in a state of confusion, uncertainty, not knowing what they truly want. There is, however, a deep connection that is felt between you and this person. I feel like you're withholding your emotions, you're withholding, you're holding back, telling this person something, okay? I do feel like they're, they are going to come forward, they're gonna tell you about something. There's going to be a message that you've, some light is going to be shed on a situation that you've been waiting for some information here. So, Sagittarius let's clarify the energies I do feel like there is some there is something that is hidden that is about to be revealed okay um, this person is about to come forward and express themselves maybe this is you I do feel like you do have your guard up heavily with the nine of wands seven of wands okay and we're gonna clarify all of this energy here in a minute but you're feeling heavily guarded at this time Sagittarius okay now, if you find the message is helpful or resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated. It does help with the growth of the channel, getting the message out there. So thank you guys so much for that. Let's dive in and clarify the Nine of Wands, Seven of Wands for Sagittarius. Please and thank you. Sagittarius energy for the month of September. Please keep in mind, guys, the messages here on YouTube are general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating, there's most likely going to be something in the message for you. For information on energy cleanse kits, personal readings, extended versions, the links are all below. And Sagittarius, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. There's definitely mirroring coming out in this reading. I feel like you, even though you're guarded, you're closed off at this time, not talking to this person, minimal contact, okay? I feel here that you're still up in the air. You're still contemplating. And the Two of Wands tells me there's still an energy of waiting, waiting to see how this plays out. A person may very well be working on finance goals, business opportunities. Clarify the seven of cups with the eight of pentacles in the reverse for Sagittarius this person. Please and thank you, spirit. Okay. This person has a tendency to get aggressive. I also feel here that this person... 
is closed off emotionally. Now, they may be doing this intentionally, but I feel here, Sagittarius, this, them being closed off, them being guarded, it's almost as if they're guarding their heart, not wanting to get hurt again. Okay. I do feel like this person has a tendency with any king or queen of wands in the reverse. There's a lot of aggression. Fire energy has a tendency to get very aggressive. Um, very harsh when it comes to their words. Um, maybe even a little bit abrasive. Some of you, this person may even physically be forceful. There is going to be an opportunity for you guys to come together to get closure on this situation here. Okay. I feel here this, when this opportunity is presented, you guys need to open up emotionally about how you feel. Again, there is an intense connection Four of wands energy. There's an intense connection that's felt here. And I do feel like this is something that can be worked on, okay? Um, but you guys are going to have to open up emotionally to one another. Take some time. What I feel here is necessary, and we're going to pull a few cards out here for your advice guidance moving forward, is taking some time to gain that clarity on what you need to feel stable and secure in a relationship. What are, what are your expectations when it comes to a relationship, when it comes to this person? Okay, what do you need for this in order for this to want to move forward, to take this to the next level? And maybe for some of you, that's just the coming together of this connection, right? That's you and this person being able to come together to be able to um, open up emotionally to one another, okay? What I see here, Sagittarius, for some of you, this is a connection that you have been enduring for a while now, okay? This is most likely not the first time that you've encountered this on again, off again between this person. If this is a new person, this is likely that you've gone through a similar situation before. What I feel here, Sagittarius, needs to be said on my part getting clear on what you need what your expectations what your desires are in a relationship how you envision a relationship in the future is very important that way you can express that clearly to another person okay because that's going to be you know that's going to make or break everything you're going to be able to get on the same page or you're going to be able to see if you and this person aren't ever going to be able to align right so let's pull a few cards out here for your advice guidance moving forward sagittarius for the month of september thank you guys so much for all the love and support thank you for liking subscribing sharing the content you guys are all freaking amazing Sagittarius. I am going to do an extended version to the reading as well in the extended version. We're going to take a little bit deeper look into the hidden energies. We'll see what comes out there. We'll see where the energy is headed. Okay. What are the next steps moving forward? The outcome, if the advice is followed, it's all going down in the extended version and the links are all below. Nine of pentacles, temperance, five of pentacles in the reverse. The Ace of Cups is on the bottom of the deck, okay? So there is going to be an opportunity to come together to express yourself emotionally, okay? But I do feel here, Sagittarius, that there is a need to get clear on what it is that you need. Your needs, the Nine of Pentacles is like your stability, your independence. So what this tells me is what do you need? to feel balanced? What do you need to feel solid, secure in a relationship? Okay. With or without this person. That way you can clearly communicate that when this opportunity arises. There is an energy of needing to release. This could be a, some negative emotions towards 
this particular individual, if this has gone on for a long time, there is a need to come to terms, get closure on this past. Um, but for some of you, this could be deeper. Okay, this could be sometimes this five of pentacles energy, this is abandonment, this is a loss, okay, symbolizes feeling at loss, feeling left, okay, feeling abandoned. Sometimes this does happen within the relationship that we're in, yes, and that needs to be addressed so that way those feelings don't arise again. That situation doesn't present, if the situation presents itself, it can be handled differently. However, a lot of times this abandonment energy comes from deeper, deeply rooted in our past, our first relationships, or even our relationships with our parents. And sometimes when it's so deep, we need help to get through those emotions, which is perfectly fine and perfectly normal. Okay, so don't be afraid to reach out and ask for guidance, ask for help. I do feel like you already are in the process of transmuting that energy. Whether you're aware of this or not, there's been lessons that have already been presented to you that have helped you to kind of come to terms with that past energy. There's still some lingering emotions surrounding that Sagittarius that need to be addressed, okay? If it's something small, that's fine, okay? Journal, journaling will be easy. Binary beats, tones, maybe even some Reiki healing, some tapping, okay? But if this is deeply rooted, you may need to reach out and ask for assistance, ask for help. Don't be afraid to go to therapy. Don't be afraid to use a counseling app or a self-development app to help you through these transitioning times, okay? Understand that when we heal ourselves internally, it also helps to raise the vibration of the co collective consciousness. And I know that you've heard that. Other people have said that, not just tarot readers, okay? When we heal ourselves internally, we also heal the collective consciousness, okay? So be the change. Sagittarius, your soul journey message coming out for your reading is happiness. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. Before incarnating, your soul created a blueprint for you to follow in the physical dimension. The easiest way to chart this path is to follow your bliss. Life is full of choices and opportunities. Spirit in its infinite wisdom has given you the emotion of happiness to guide you. The signposts are always there, but you have to acknowledge them and have the courage to follow them. As you view this card, do you feel that you are living a life of happiness? In what areas are you lacking happiness? It may be time to be truthful with your soul self. Listen to its language and intuit if there is someone or a scenario holding you back. Even though it may be painful to admit you need to be completely honest with yourself. Be mindful of how happiness will affect every aspect of your life. Also, Intuit if there is someone else in your life who needs to be brought into the awareness of happiness. This is also important to recognize. Others will want to learn from you and whether you admit it or not, you can be their teacher. When you are filled with love and compassion, not only do you bring happiness into your life, but you lead others by example. Be the freaking light. Oh my goodness. So... Sagittarius. I love when there's confirmation. What I see here is this person, you do feel like this person is hiding something. They are holding back. There is some confusion here. They may have multiple things grabbing their attention. However, I feel like them holding back is deep, more deeper than just hiding another connection. I feel like this is some pain, some painful scenario or some trauma that this person may be hiding. And Sagittarius, by you taking a deeper look into your stuff, it's going to lead by example. 
allow this person to kind of look a little deeper as well. There is mirroring coming out here. I'm not going to say this is soulmates, twin flames, blah, 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 because I don't. I do feel like there is an intense connection here, though, between you and this person. Right now, Sagittarius, you're being guided within for a specific reason. So take that time with yourself, okay? Your four truths messages be impeccable with your word. Let go of self-judgment and blame. Being impeccable, you take responsibility for your actions, but you do not judge or blame yourself for anything. Let go of self-judgment and blame. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So Sagittarius, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this month. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all freaking amazing. Again, if you want to get in on the extended version, links are all below. Otherwise, thank you guys again. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.